How about medical? How about medical supplies? You need any medical wound care, anything like that? Yeah, there's uh, there's hand warmers and stuff in there. So you need wound care? Uh, cold out here, right? Yeah, where's, let me ask you a question. I think I might know where everybody's at, but where do you think everybody's at? I think they're in the subway system. Yeah, I think they're in the subway system. But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead, maybe you'll get sick of being the monster out of my head, under my bed. Think you're something out of my nightmares. Stay there right there. But if I lay down. Silhouettes of you are like a taunt Never really notice what you want With you I don't ever feel calm I can feel the sweat inside my palms Play with me like cats and a string You don't understand the pain it brings You don't ever want to give me wings You don't ever want to set me free You know I'm addicted to you And it's twisted you've been gifted with the evil voodoo Got me coming back for more, even when I've been screwed Dolls full of pins, pierce my heart straight through I got issues in my head, I like you in my bed But you keep me on red, oh Everything is like a test, I better not text or I'll come off desperate What's up YouTubers and official dronies, this is Mike for Drones Are Eagles Here on Kensington Avenue, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania I'm out here giving out <clears throat> medical supplies with my suitcase. I got my backpack on with winter gear in the bags. Uh, I got hand warmers, hats, uh, two pairs of socks, one winter socks, one tennis shoe socks, uh, gloves and hand warmers, I believe I said, and neck warmers. Uh, that's in my backpack and in individual bags. And in the suitcase is all medical wound care. So stay tuned. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Uh, I'm good, thanks. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell so that way you'll be notified um, when I upload new content. And when I do a live stream once or twice a month, I will be doing live streams here. Uh, it's called Cafe Con Drones. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you get that notification. Everybody else, thank you for being here across the pond, down under. I appreciate you all. Uh, let's see if anybody's over here. Uh, it's freezing out here. Oh man, let's see. Hello? Hello? I haven't been having any luck. I don't, I don't, I can't see people sleeping out here. I really, I really can't. I don't think they're sleeping out here. I, I think they went into a shelter for the night or for the week. It's been cold all week. Um, or sleeping in the subway system. I should go in the subway system, right? Um, just to see. Just to see if they're all out in the subway system because I haven't seen anybody out here. Um, Uh, I want to thank everybody that's been supporting me lately. Thank you so much. New subscribers, thank you for tuning in. And uh, the ones that emailed me and told me they came from another channel, uh, they came to see what was the hate all about. And you checked a couple of my videos, you liked my content, you stuck around, emailed me to appreciate me. And I want to appreciate you. Thank you for subscribing. Um, as you can see on this channel, there's nothing but love on this channel. You will not find any hate here. Um, uh, my channels are the ones that get attacked a lot on YouTube, uh, channels that do good to the community, channels that help out, uh, they try to find anything dirty to say about you, they'll try to dig in your past, see if you have any criminal records and stuff like that, and they just like, when it, that, that's, that's what they like doing, it's like a lot of jealousy going on, and uh, so, hey buddy, what's up my man, you need any winter gear? No, I'm alright. You're good? You sure? All right, man, take, pe take care, man, peace. Uh, man, he could have, he could have used some gloves or something. 
Uh, this cold temperature, it starts to take my breath away, man. I have trouble breathing. I have COPD. Um, this weather doesn't help it any at all. It doesn't help it at all. Uh, so like I was saying, uh, yeah, people, uh, they see the good in you and there's evil people out there and they just want to destroy you. Um, yes, um, I used to be, well, I'm still an addict. I guess we're all still addicts. Even though you're clean, you can see you're technically an addict. Uh, but I used to use heroin back in the day. And I did my dirt. I did my time. You know, I did my stuff. Sold drugs and I did all kinds of bad things. You know, everybody has a past, whether it's good or bad. Uh, most us city people usually have a bad past. Criminal in the past, uh, yeah, I got a past 20 years ago. It was the last time I got in trouble. I did my time, you know. Uh, I repent. Uh, turn to Christ, ask him to forgive me. I know he did. And I changed my life and I'm doing for the best. I'm doing for the good. And there's just people out there that are jealous of my success here in Philly. And they want to pull out my criminal record and talk bad about me. Like what I'm doing out here has nothing to do with what happened with me 20 years ago with my past. It has nothing to do with it. I'm doing God's work now. What's so wrong with that? You know, if you had a problem with what happened with my criminal record 20 years ago, then you should have addressed it back then 20 years ago. Um, for, for it to be brung up now and talked about now, it, it just shows you how jealous people are, how cruel and evil people are. And all, God is on my side. God is protecting me and that's all that counts. That's all that matters. What's up, bud? Buddy. Yo, my man. You need any winter gear? Do you need any winter gear? You got, you need more gloves and hats and stuff like that? You do? How about, med how about medical supplies? You need any medical wound care or anything like that? Yeah, there's, uh, there's hand warmers and stuff in there. So you need wound care? Uh, cold out here, right? Yeah, where's, let me ask you a question. I think I might know where everybody's at, but where do you think everybody's at? I think they're in the subway system. Yeah, I think they're in the subway system. Here you go, boss. Oh, God. I had to figure out a better way to get this out. Yeah, these bags are heavy. A lot of stuff in here. Here, a lot of wound care, guy. All right, here you go, bud. Yeah, stay warm. But uh, you got you got two pairs of socks in here. One is winter socks, and one is um, tennis shoe socks. And then you got hats, gloves. Yeah, and um, a neck warmer. Make sure you put your neck warmer on. And there, there's a, there's a lot of medical supplies in there and stuff like that and syringes. Um, the neck warmer is right here. Uh, ace, ba ace bandage, ace bandage. Here, take some of that. That's um, non-stick pads. You drop something there. Oh, is that the non-stick pads? Yeah, the non-stick pads. God bless you, man. Take care of yourself, man. All right, stay warm. All right. Here's my battery going low. Uh, coming up on Needle Park right now. Coming up on Needle Park. Uh, so like I said, thank you for the support guys. I really do appreciate it. Um, yeah, so like I was saying, God is good. God got my back, and that's all I have to worry about. What I'm doing now has nothing to do with my past 20 years ago. It has nothing to do with it. Um, uh, he didn't. He don't even know 
the guy back there, he didn't even know where everybody went. I, I'm, I'm guessing they went somewhere to stay warm. Um, all the shelters are like full, over capacity, man. They're like, they're like, no vacancy, put it that way. And um, so a lot of them, I'm sure they stay in the subway system. That's the only warm place. Uh, legally, you can't hang around there, but in, this, in these kind of weather conditions, uh, the SEPTA police, the transit police, they know that there's no room inside shelters. They know all this. So they usually let it go. As long as they behave, you know, they're just laying there sleeping, not bothering nobody. They, they usually don't do nothing in this kind of weather. Yeah, they, they, they don't do nothing. Let them stay. Um, uh, I got one of them blankets. I got it in my pocket. Let me check. I think I have it in my pocket. Let me check. Yeah, yeah, I do right here. One of these um, foil rescue blankets. Uh, he has one there. I'll give him another one. You want another rescue blanket? I got another one. Uh, you're welcome. You, you need any wound care? Wound care? No? You good? I see you got gloves, you're good with all that? You got some extra gloves? Yeah, mm -hmm. and I got hats, stuff too. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Thank you so much. Yep, no problem. Take care of yourselves. Stay warm out here. I yeah. So in front of what? Somebody died in front of the hub. Today. What's the hub? The hub of hope. That's the place where uh, the homeless go. Oh, it's like a shelter. How somebody died? Like, well, they didn't check. I told them that the man would have his ass out. He was in front of the elevator. Uh -huh. And all they did was pull his pants up. So now that was 12 o'clock this morning. So now it's 7 o'clock. I mean, it's 8 o'clock in the morning. And now they find out he did. Yeah, it is 8 o'clock. So what did he really die from the cold weather? Yeah. Wow. I don't know if he took a drug and passed out. They could have burned came and burned back to life. It looked like he froze to death and died. Yeah, froze to death and, and oh, probably overdosed. Yeah. yeah. He pulled his pants up and left him in front of the elevator. And it left him right in front of the elevator? Yeah. But That's crazy. And then um, when the sun came out, now they found my son he's dead. I said, oh my God. So they closed the place down temporary or something? No. Huh? Still open? <laughs> I just don't want to stand there. I told Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that. Well, be careful out here. Try to stay warm, all right? God bless. Take care. Yeah, no problem. Yes, take care. God bless you. Wow, did you hear that? I don't know if you heard it. Uh, she said someone died. Uh, a mixture of overdosing of the drugs and froze to death at the hub. I asked her what the hub was. It's like a place where they help people out. Uh, homeless people. It's like a slash shelter, uh, soup kitchen place. Um, yeah, he was in like on the elevator outside or something. Like, so obviously, somewhere where it's real cold, they do have elevators outside, like in the garage area and stuff. And this temperature out here, if it's 16 degrees out here, a car garage, like a public car garage, it's probably 20 degrees. Uh, some of them are colder because they have wind blowing in them. Yeah, she said that they just left them in there and he froze to death. The combination of the drugs and the, and the weather. It's sad uh, what's going on here. A lot of people. There, there's, this is sad guys what I'm about to say, but it's true because I've seen it. Um, a lot of city workers here in Philadelphia, they, they come in for a check, man. They really do. They come in, they get paid, punch in and punch out. Um, they show that they don't care about anybody. They have attitude problems. Um, they're very, very ignorant. Um, and, and these are the results, you know, these are the results. If somebody showed, uh, uh, somebody paid attention to this man, and showed him concern and love, he'll probably still be alive today. I know a lot of you are saying, no, no, drones, he did it to himself. He's an addict, you know? Nobody told him to do drugs. I get all that, guys. Yeah, I understand that. You're, you're gonna get your criticisms because I get it a lot on this channel. Um, but usually people that make them kind of comments are people that never been on opioids. They really don't know anything about the drug and they, they make ignorant, ignorant comments. Um, instead of just keep on moving, she have no business watching a channel like this that don't know nothing about opioids. Don't make a comment like that. Um, 
but I, I, again, it just shows you the, the lack of love the city has for homeless people and addicts. Um, I just don't want to hear it that they put themselves in that situation. I mean, how many times you've done something wrong and put yourself in bad situations that had nothing to do with drugs? I mean, none of us are perfect. You know, we all got to pass. Like I said earlier, whether it's good or bad, we all got to pass. You know, and what matters is um, how you go on with that, how you live your day, the present day and forward. That's what's important. How you live the present day and full word. Okay, your, your past is over with. You live the past. It's gone. Okay, what matters is the day, the present day, and how you live it forward, moving forward. You know, um, so it's just sad how, how things happen are going on here. Like for an example, I'll give you an example. The mayor here in Philadelphia, the new mayor that came in, yeah, she's cleaning up the streets. Yes, she's locking up people for smoking crack when that never happened before. She's locking up people for shooting up on the sidewalk. Yeah, she's doing what she's supposed to do. A lot of you people have been complaining all year. Why don't they just lock people up? Uh, so let me say a couple things about that. This goes on every four years when the new mayor is running for election or re-election. They do this, and then within six months, it goes back to being Kensington Avenue. Okay, they do it for votes, guys. They do it for votes. Okay, she's a new mayor. She just got in office a couple weeks ago, and she's just showing, I told you voters, this is what I was going to do. Yeah, she's doing it for now, but trust me, it's all going to stop soon, okay? Soon it's going to stop in a couple months, and then it'll pick back up when she's, going, when she's going for re-election, it'll pick up again. I've uh, been here all my life, I know how the city runs, I know how, I know how politics run here in the city. Um, whew, man, it is cold out here, guys. It is freezing out here. I should have just took my car, drove down here in Allegheny, and parked. That's what I should have done, um, because... I'm just walking around. This video is ending anyway. I'm on my 18th minute. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna walk back around. I'm thinking about going towards I-95 and towards the river. Where there's, there's a lot of tents out there under I-95. Uh, they're somewhere. All the addicts are hiding somewhere. Uh, so I wanna thank everybody that tuned in. Thank you, I appreciate all you guys. If you're new to the channel and you like the content, please hit that like button. Most important, please subscribe. Uh, so that way you'll be notified. Uh, I'm sorry, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so that way you'll be notified every time I upload new content. And when I go live, which will be once or twice a month, I'll be doing lives called Cafe Con Drones. So please hit that notification bell. And everybody else, thank you. All the new subscribers, I love you guys. Thank you. I appreciate every single one of you guys um, all over the world. I can't believe how much love I'm getting from across the ocean, across the pond, I call it. Thank you again to all my new subscribers and especially the ones that have been supporting me for so long. I love you guys so much, man. You guys make this channel, uh, this channel blossom and I appreciate every single one of you guys. Um, again, thank you again across the pond, down under. Remember guys, love is the key, drama free. Make sure you check out the links in the description. I do have an Amazon wish list with medical supplies and winter gear. Uh, and tips are appreciated. Please use Cash App and PayPal. Links are also in the description. Um, heal the past, live the present, and dream the future. Love, health, peace, and happiness to all. Thank you guys, love you. Until next time, this is Mike with Drones Our Eagles. Peace. Silhouettes of you are like a ton Never really noticed what you want With you I don't ever feel calm I can feel the sweat inside my palms Play with me like cats and a string You don't understand the pain it brings You don't ever wanna give me wings You don't ever wanna set me free You know I'm addicted to you Ain't it twisted you've been gifted with the evil voodoo Got me coming back from all